and everything in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this present night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? That God himself promised to be with us in every situation. In every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making, he says in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwelling. Welcome tonight. Let's give a big hand. Welcome tonight. God bless you richly tonight. Praise the Lord. God bless you richly tonight. I want to get straight into the word of God. I want to explain simply the beatitudes of Jesus Christ. Yes, my friends. Very simple tonight. I want to put it in a very simple terms. I know I want to I, I know I wanted to look at the most famous. The most famous, the most famous sermon that Jesus ever actually, I just want to look at the introduction of this sermon. It's called the Beatitudes. And I think this passage of scripture holds some important truths for us as we start this, this year. It's already March. There is so much in this passage that we can learn from the, this as we be challenged by it. We can encourage and by whatever there is a new Christian or whether you've been following Jesus for a long time, I think there is some incredible stuff in this passage tonight. And I really want to drive it home, my friends. Yes, I really want to drive it home to you tonight that you can understand what I'm telling you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. It's important that we learn something from the word of God. Yes, let me just ask a question. And you don't, my friends, you don't need to share this with anybody tonight so don't freak out you can keep this internal but i want to start with a question tonight a very simple question what do you do what you what do you need tonight my friends for you to say i have a good a good life what do you need to say i have a good life tonight what would it take for you to say I am blessed tonight. Praise the Lord. What what do you need to have? What do you need to happen? When do you need to, to change? What it will take for you to say, my friends, I have a good, I have a good life. What do you need to do? What do you need? Do you need a house, a bigger house, a better house, your house paid off, a good job, a certain amount of money? You need him to do you need him to you need, need wealth? Yes, you need peace, good vacation, a promotion, fame, power tonight, people to like you. Do you want your your team to win the Super Bowl or the cricket match in a few months or next month? Yes, my friends. What did you what do you need tonight from God? What do you have a good do you have a good my friends, a good life? Tonight, my friends, hallelujah. Now, I want you to think about uh, that honestly tonight uh, for a few seconds because I know something we can think a little obviously where we like and I know what the answer to this question is tonight. Uh, yes, my friends, but actually consider tonight, uh, consider where your life is going look at the decisions you make over the past few years yes the directions yes your life is heading what will what will, will that say what do you actually need to have a good a good life tonight yes my friends be honest be honest tonight with yourself what does your life what does your life tell you please go bring the chair for your black chair yes about the direction that you're going to have a good life tonight yes praise the lord life just about that my friends yes life just about that i want to step on the toes of a little bit tonight 
Yes, my friends, a little bit. Have you ever got one of those things? Yes, my friends, that you thought you need. Yes, tonight, have you ever got something that you need? You thought once I get this, once I get this, then I'll be happy when I have the good life. Then I'll be blessed once I get this and then I get it and it's great for a few weeks yes my friends are great for a few weeks for for months yes my friends hallelujah but eventually eventually my friends i let you it let you down yes it let you down sometimes yes my friends yes i doesn't deliver what you promise what you hope for tonight yes and what you need yes you want to get married to be happy you you got married and you realize that doesn't really, that doesn't really fulfill that deep, deeper longing that you have in your life. But maybe you thought, yes, please come this way. Yes, you get an X amount of money and you have a good job. Yes, my friends, please leave it there. Yes, yes, and this fame or whatever, I'll be happy. Then many things can happen. Yes, I want to sit a little tonight. My feet is feeling a little tired. Praise God. I'm going to sit and speak to you tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Yes, my friends and beloved. You want to, yes, and I can take the good vocation. Is not so. Then I can have the good life. But then you got that. Yes, when you got that, my friends, it doesn't deliver. It, does, it doesn't deliver what you hope for, my friends. No, it never delivers. Yes, you see, my friends, here what I found in my life. Maybe you can relate tonight. Oftentimes, the things I think, yes, I, I need, I need this, I need that. Praise God tonight. The things I think I need have a good life. Once I get them, yes, they, they don't provide for me, my friends, but I hope tonight that they will provide for me you might say yes it just leaves me wanting more and more so i go to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing hoping that the next thing will finally deliver is not so tonight my friends yes is that so what am i chasing after tonight yes you see i used to think when i will get married then i have the good life when i was young I was like once I'm married, once I have a happy marriage, then I'll be happy, then I'll have the good life, then I'll be blessed. All of us say the same thing. It's not so tonight. But what I found, even though my wife, my wife is greater, even though we have a greater marriage and we have three kids, I can't put that much pressure pressure on somebody else. To provide for for me and my family are you getting it tonight my friends so which i realize tonight uh, yes that marriage isn't going to to be what makes me happy it's not going to to help uh, help me step in into this life uh, that i'm longing for yes uh, so i thought uh, well maybe i need to be married and have money because you know when you get married you've got when you're young you don't have much money so i thought maybe once we have a house and some money in the bank and we start hitting these financial goals and then i'll be happy and then i have good, a good life so i chase after that yes and i found every time i checked a box every every time i checked it every time you know when we bought the house yes or, or yes, with some money we found we need something else Yes, more we always need more things. So I thought maybe maybe I need to be married, have some money, and have kids. I have three kids, which those last didn't really go together. Yes, my friends, are you following me tonight? You know that was worth trying. So what you do? We had we had three kids, and I found that the same thing. I can't put any pressure pressure, my friends on a person whether to be my wife or my kids to provide for me a good a good life tonight that's not fair to put that amount of pressure my friends and beloved yes on any person tonight so my life went on and i just keep searching the world 
yes, searching the world for the good life, the full life. Yes, I have always come, yes, I come to empty. You can come close if you want, looking for more, wanting more. Yes, we all always want something more, more. And does that describe anybody else tonight in this, in this room? Yes, you have to raise your hands. Yes, be honest with yourself tonight. Look at your life tonight, my friends. Look at your life. Are you searching? Are you searching tonight for that next thing? Hoping that, hoping that tonight, yes, that will provide for you, my friends. Yes, hoping that will provide for you the blessed life. All of us want the blessed life, the good life. What? Do, do you do you my friends what do you need tonight see what we're going to see today in this tonight in this passage is Jesus is going to give us a different way to live a better way to live my friends we're going to hear these words we're going to think yes my friends I don't know Jesus yes praise God you might say I do don't know if that sounds like the good life tonight uh, to me, my friends. Uh, yes, the good life that all of us want. Uh, in fact, it sounds like the opposite uh, of good life because uh, what Jesus does is he kind of reverse, uh, reverse the way that we think uh, tonight uh, about uh, what a good life is. Uh, yes, he re refines uh, the talk of what it means tonight uh, to live, uh, to live a, a good life uh, and listen it's not easy my friends to follow it's uh, it's really difficult uh, difficult is a really difficult pill to swallow tonight uh, yes my friends because uh, because jesus says some pretty controversial and counter culture things uh, yes my friends things uh, things like i think uh, it's impossible when we start thinking that when we start reading these words uh, and think i don't want that uh, to define my life uh, because that doesn't sound good. Uh, that doesn't sound blessed. Uh, let's be honest tonight. Uh, remember back. Uh, remember back, my friends, uh, to this to this pursuit we are trying. We try all these things uh, the world has to offer. Isn't that so? And none of them add up. Uh, none of them add up tonight. We try everything and none adds up. Uh, and if this way of life uh, isn't working. Maybe we try what Jesus, what Jesus says is best, even if it's, uh, it's uh, my friends, tonight difficult. Are you listening to the man of God tonight? Uh, see if you try or tr tired of trying to find the good life tonight, my friends. Uh, yes, and what the world has to offer. Jesus has a better, yes, I says Jesus has a better way tonight uh, to live, my friends. Uh, Let's dive into what Jesus, what Jesus says tonight. It starts in Matthew chapter 5. Yes, and verses 1. You turn there to your, your phone or to your Bible tonight. And yes, we're going to, we're going to really see that what Jesus has to say tonight. How can we find, how can we find the good life, my friends? How can we find, it says, it is in Matthew chapter 5 verse one seeing the crowd he went onto the mount and he sat down he sat down and the disciples his disciples came to him and so let's pause here for just a minute yes this section and i said it called the beatitudes tonight which means full of blessings is not so or full of god simply what jesus is saying this is how this is how you can have a blessed life tonight. This is how you can have a, a good life. This is the way my kingdom works. This is how life really works, Jesus says. And this is to his audience this night as he climbed this morning, as he climbed on the mountainside and was primarily Jewish. And this will have reminded them in the audience of Moses coming down from the mountain. Yes, and carrying my friends the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Except, uh, except when Jesus starts his teaching, he is not giving a list of do and don'ts. No, my friends, uh, yes, uh, this is how life really works. Uh, yes, uh, if you want to have the good life, uh, this is what, uh, my friends, uh, you 
have you have to do and he established something that's a revolutionary that never has been before my friends yes and what he says it's kind of takes the crowd back hallelujah a little bit and what jesus himself is expecting his followers to do is not just to look at this list of things and say those are really good in practice in practice or those are really good in theory yes my friends you know he expects us to actually live this out these should actually be the markers yes i hear me tonight for our life my friends and beloved i want to start this morning this night by just reading the whole passage tonight pray down this wednesday night and as i read it i just want you to consider consider tonight my friends and beloved do these things do these things mark your life tonight these the are these markers of your life then when we go back through and we break down each of them tonight <laughs> but first i just want us to look at the kind of foot view tonight and even going to be on this on the screen just want you to hear the words my friends i just want you to listen to me and to consider all these all these markers tonight the markers for your life so Matthew chapter 2 Matthew chapter 2 says this is this is he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed he says blessed are the poor in spirit blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven he says blessed are those who mourn hallelujah tonight he says blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek are you hearing me blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness hallelujah for they shall be satisfied and blessed he says are the merciful hey, merciful tonight for they shall be shown mercy blessed he says also are the pure in heart for they shall see god yes bless are the peacemakers bless are the peacemakers for they shall be called they shall be called the sons of god yes bless tonight my friends are those of you who are persecuted yes persecuted for righteousness hallelujah righteousness sake for theirs he says for theirs is the kingdom of god hallelujah the kingdom of heaven sorry the king i'll be honest tonight with you my friends and beloved that doesn't sound like a good life to me at all are you hearing me tonight yes that doesn't sound like a blessed life at all i mean when we sit down we think what are the what are the makers of a good life we're probably not going to think of poor is not so we're probably not going to think of mourning is not so we're probably not going to think of meek we're probably not going to think of somebody who's hungry or thirsty is that so we definitely not going to think of somebody who's being persecuted that's not the markers of a good life tonight at least not what the world says my friends and beloved tonight let me go further and see the good life is often found in the absence of those things right when i'm not hungry when i'm not thirsty when i'm not poor when i'm not mourning that's the good life is not so you might say tonight my friends but jesus is giving us jesus is giving us a different way a different way to live and again i say tonight did all these other things really provide for you what you hope what you hope my friends yes because jesus is giving us a different way tonight he's confronting culture he's confronting how how we approach life how we think about life how how we how we the lens in which we view yes life itself true my friends tonight he's telling us god is speaking to us hallelujah jesus is saying this is how 
this is how life really works isn't that so so i want you to go through and i want you to break each of these down a little bit because of these they are much in this uh, that we can learn from so let's look at the first beatitude tonight the first thing that jesus says is blessed are the poor tonight hallelujah poor in spirit blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and this doesn't mean that there's that there's people are poor that there's people are poor there is no money at, at least name poor is often made fun of in college yes or in yes or or in college my friends i had we had no money neither but in, in elementary school i would get made fun of because i had no money is not so according to the kids of the playground but that uh, what jesus is talking about here that he is uh, talking he's talking about the, the zero in bank accounts that's what he's talking about it's our spiritual it's our spiritual condition tonight did you get that tonight my friends our spiritual condition he said blessed are those of you who recognize your spiritual condition is pretty bad tonight yes my friends and there's nothing there's nothing nothing my friends you can do to earn your way into heaven to get into heaven blessed are those who are powerless who are hopeless tonight who are undeserving tonight praise the lord who realize there is no amount of good they can do to outweigh outweigh the bad tonight there is spiritually my friends hallelujah praise god bankruptcy bankruptcy they don't sound very blessed to us but jesus says that bless because god god's not forgotten them tonight hallelujah the poor in spirit my friends those who recognize their there's nothing they can do on their own are blessed because God is going to do for them what they cannot do, my friends, for themselves tonight. And this files in the way, it flies in the way of the face of the, of the world, operates right because in the world it's powerful. It's put together those who will go after it, it push through adversity and who rise to the top yes on their own power yes there is a one tonight there is the ones there are the ones that are blessed did you say that my friends but in god's kingdom tonight it's the one who admit the admit tonight that they are weaker weaker they are broken tonight yes my friends they are messy tonight they're the ones that inherit inherit something tonight the kingdom of god so blessed are the poor blessed are the poor and the spirit jesus builds on with the, the second one when he says blessed are those who mourn for they for they shall be comforted and jesus again isn't talking about grief or the loss of a loved one tonight or the bible talks about that plenty that God is close to the broken, close to the broken hearted. Yes, Jesus is saying, blessed are those who mourn tonight. Yes, their sin, their sin, he's building off the previous one. The first one, he says, blessed are the poor and the, and the spirit. Blessed are those who recognize their spiritual condition. And he kind of follow up with a step to do. Blessed are those who mourn, hallelujah, for their sin. Praise God, hallelujah. And I love that tonight. Jesus, follow up, my friend with they will be comforted isn't that awesome and great tonight isn't that mighty god is close to us in our brokenness my friends he is not repulsed he is not running away he draws near to us hallelujah when we bring when we bring him hallelujah bring him our sin tonight yes you see when we hide our sin my friends the world tells us we need to have our lives together if, if we don't need to pretend we need to put on the fight at the right face it just a face it my friends and the problem is when you hide your broken 
brokenness, when you hide your sin, when you hide your fists, yes, it's like a wound, a wound tonight, it needs to be clean, yes, otherwise it's going to get infected the same way with sin, so we need to bring it to God tonight, so he cannot only comfort us, but heal us, heal us and restore us, praise God, hallelujah, yes, my friends, thank you, Jesus, isn't it this awesome tonight, isn't it great, I know some of us grew up in a church, or we grew up in the, in a home where we were ridiculed, my friends, yes, and beat up, yes, for our sin, but listen, that's not what God wants to do tonight, yes, when we bring him, when we bring him our sin and our mistakes, he's not there waiting to say, I knew it, I knew you was, you will screw up, I knew you will get it right, he doesn't want to beat us up, he doesn't want, he wants to comfort, hallelujah, he wants to comfort us tonight, he wants to heal us, my friends, hallelujah, he wants, my friends, tonight, to restore us, yes, he wants to restore us, that's why we are blessed tonight, yes, and when we mourn our sins, my friends, because God draws nearer, nearer to us, hallelujah, and comforts us, hallelujah, he wants to comfort us, the next beatitude says, blessed are the weak, for they shall inherit, they shall inherit the earth, in previous two statements, Jesus was talking about our own personal recognition of our sin, of our condition, and now Jesus switches gear, here and he starts talking about our coward outward posture, our outward posture, and how we approach, my friends, the world today, my friends, a good definition of meta will be strength today, will be strength, are you hearing me, under control, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, my son now, in the, yes, my, one of my son is 31 years, one is 30 years, and the other one is, uh, and the Lord is 22 years. We, I love my children very much, but uh, sometimes uh, you have to be humble in front of them, not to make them feel bad. Yes, my friends, uh, when you're doing things, sometimes you have to pretend that you don't know. Yes, and you have to listen to them. Yes, my friends, we, many times uh, when we play games, uh, you have to pretend that you are losing to make them feel good. Uh, and that's being weak. Yes, right. I mean, it could end in war, my friends. It sometimes it can end in so fast. But we need to spend time with our children and make them feel good when they're growing up. I'm bigger than him. I'm older than him. I'm smarter than him. Yes, my friends. Yes, but it could end up, my friends. But I don't, don't listen to me tonight. I keep my strength, I keep my strength on the control, yes, my friends, and my knowledge on the control for the benefit and for the kids, yes, enjoyment, sometimes you have to make them feel good, and that's what God is calling us to do, my friends, as we interact with others, as we interact with the world, he's saying, I want you to have your strength, I on the control, your strength, you do need to throw your weight around to get what you feel like you want or you feel like you deserve my friends and that's how the world operates it's it, it's it is mean it is very mean you probably taking some shots from other people yes my friends we don't understand that's what we're using their strength tonight and we don't understand to get ahead Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It's kicked you down sometime. Yes, my friends. But for followers of Jesus Christ, that should be us. We should have our strength. We should have our strength under control. We should have our leverage, our power for the benefit. Listen carefully. For the benefit of those around us and not for the benefit, my friends, of Ourself tonight. Did you get that tonight, my friends? Jesus continue. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Hallelujah. For they shall be satisfied. 
Hallelujah. They shall be satisfied. Jesus here is probably reflecting in Psalms 42. It's a famous psalm and probably know that it says uh, the deer panted for water. Yes, uh, after the water brooks and as we often picture this uh, as this uh, Thomas second uh, painting. My friends, where he says there is a nice uh, babbling brook uh, and the deer is just uh, calmingly taking a drink. Uh, but that's not all that David is talking about tonight. In Psalms, my friends, he's talking about he's talking about the deer that desperately looking for water that's on its last leg that's about to die if it doesn't get if it doesn't get a drink, my friends, of water, and that's the kind of thirst that Jesus Christ is describing tonight. Here is somebody who needs, my friends, this water tonight, or they will surely die. Yes, my friends, people, followers of Jesus Christ should be hungry, hungry tonight, and thirsty, thirsty to that level for what, my friends, water, for water, for righteousness, for righteousness that God wants for you and me, for God's will tonight. Hallelujah. World tells us, my friends, the world tells us that we need to be hungry, hungry and thirsty tonight. That's what the world tells us. For what makes us happy is not so tonight. For what brings us satisfaction tonight. Yes, my friends, but again, have you tried that before? Is it like drinking salt water? Yes, my friends, hallelujah. Taste good for a second, my friends. It tastes good for a second, but it never satisfies. I hear the man of God, you always need more and more and more and more and you drink the thirst you're getting. You keep trying to pour into yourself and it never brings you, my friends, hallelujah, what you hope for. But what does Jesus say tonight? He says, when we're hungry and thirst for righteousness, hallelujah, when we hunger and thirst for righteousness, it's like refreshing, refreshing water tonight. Hallelujah. That's uh, satisfying tonight, my friends. It's great satisfying. Yes, uh, when we do God's will, my friends. Uh, when we do God's will. Hallelujah. Yes, it ends up benefiting, benefiting ourselves. Yes, uh, tonight I want to encourage you when we pursue righteousness, my friends, instead uh, of our own desires. Yes, uh, we actually find we actually find satisfaction. Yes, my friends, we find satisfaction. Jesus uh, continues on to bless are the merciful, for they shall receive. Hallelujah. They shall receive mercy. Praise God. We have a double standard with mercy. Don't we tonight? Uh, one, one, on the other hand, we have made a mistake many times. We love uh, to receive grace. Yes, we love to receive mercy. Isn't that so? But when somebody, someone makes a mistake, particularly one that affects us, I mean the man of God tonight, we want them to get what they deserve. Isn't that so? Yes, sometimes un un unintentionally we have a double standard. We want grace, but we often still Yes, stingy with grace. And what Jesus is saying is saying is people who hold on to the wrong, the wrong they have been done against them. Yes, my friends, they can also hold on to the grace that God has tonight. Hallelujah for them. And is not awesome tonight. You can't hold on to unforgiveness, my friends and beloved, and accept tonight. Hallelujah for forgiveness yes my friends and he, it's not fear tonight praise the lord but it wasn't fear for jesus to go to the cross for our mistakes isn't that so tonight my friends see when you're forgiven so much you can forgive those my friends around you that doesn't make the wrongs that were done against you my friends okay yes no it's really my friends, listen carefully. Really, it's really, really hard. It's not so what Jesus is 
saying when it's saying it's a, it is when we extend mercy when we extend mercy when we extend grace yes to people who don't deserve it yes my friends it tells us what it says yes hallelujah it shall be it shall be received we shall receive mercy for what hallelujah we have done tonight let's give it a big hand you see my friends good life belongs to those who don't give those who don't give what is it this deserve to those speak to people around them the good life belongs to those listen carefully who give people who give people tonight what they need what they need my friends next one is the bless and the pure in heart tonight hallelujah for they my friends shall see hallelujah they shall see god blessed are the pure in heart yes the religious people in jesus days were obsessed were obsessed with ceremonial clean cleansiness and all sorts of things they had all these rituals for washing hands washing hands and keeping up with appearances and making it seems like they were only holy they were holy and righteous yes my friends and beloved but behind the scenes behind the scenes jesus continue points out their hearts yes the hearts were my friends a mess their hearts were a mess yes i think we got the same problem today heart very rotten yes we really good at putting on a face yes and coming in a, in a building we really good at Posing the right pictures, yes, on social media, we will look good at pretending like we are doing all the right things. Yes, my friends, like doing all the right things. But I know for me, my heart is a mess. Yes, are you saying tonight, my friends? Yes, I've interacted with enough people to know that the heart is often a mess and dirty too. And what Jesus is saying, it's saying, listen, we often try to fix our actions. Hallelujah. We try to fix our actions. We often try to fix our actions and make it appear like we're doing right. But the problem is not our actions tonight. The problem is our hearts. Yes, out of the heart flows our actions. And it found in my life what I want to deal with sin or something that's going wrong in my life. Yes, I don't treat the symptoms. It's not so. We don't treat the symptoms. I want my heart. Praise God. I want my heart. Because out of the heart, my friends flow my actions. And I have I'm nothing saying or action do matter. They do. It's just saying that we want to fix the actions that are wrong in our life we should fix the root cause the root cause my friends are not the symptom that that's what jesus is saying he's saying blessed are the pure in heart blessed are those who deal with that on the inside because that's what that's what my friends is saying matters tonight that what he's saying matters yes he continue on to say blessed are the peacemakers hallelujah for they shall be called sons hallelujah sons of god hallelujah and what i love about this tonight is that jesus used the word peace yes he's saying one yes he who have received the peace of God Almighty uh, is that awesome and extends extend that peace to those my friends uh, extend that peace around them tonight uh, hallelujah and Jesus says when we are peacemakers we shall be called sons sons of the Almighty God it's uh, is that interesting term that we don't really use so much uh, anymore outside my friends uh, the Bible but in Jesus uh, in Jesus Days. This is not a statement of relationship as it is like an actual son, but it was a statement, my friends, of 
of character when you call somebody a son a son my friends a fill in the blank with the words you're thinking or oh, son of a king or son of a something else yes you are saying my friends that person was acting acting like that person praise god could be a good could be good or bad so when jesus says that you will be a son of god he's saying my friends you're acting like god when you bring peace somewhere tonight praise the lord you are talking on the character the character of god because he brought peace to us he brought peace to us because of our sin because of our mistakes we are we are enemies of god and because of what he did he brought peace to us now we can enter into a peaceful a peaceful relationship and now we call to do the same and listen that does the world need that right now my friends doesn't the world need that right now i don't know about you i don't see a lot of peace in the world the world is in chaos and confusion and torment yes in our culture for followers of jesus christ my friends today we should be taking taking peace yes my friends everywhere we go yes we go out uh, dumping gas on the fire yes my friends uh, but uh, bringing bringing water uh, bringing peace god wants to bring us peace to the world hallelujah and the last thing the last thing that jesus says my friends uh, what the last thing says uh, he says blessed are those who are persecuted persecution persecuted for righteousness hallelujah sake if you're persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of god of heaven this is one we wish wasn't included right my friends and beloved listen tonight blessed are those who are persecuted persecuted listen carefully and i think it's in important tonight that we pray pay attention to that second piece for what righteousness yes for righteousness sake yes for righteousness see a lot of christians today my friends hallelujah praise god that claim they've been persecuted but in reality they've been persecuted because they said said something really dumb and hurtful things yes but listen carefully jesus is saying when you get persecuted for being righteous yes then you got persecuted for doing my will said jesus not your own will tonight yes praise god then you are my friends and beloved tonight blessed but jesus is even done yet he, he haven't even done it if you go to the next verse just look down matthew 5 verse 12 he says when you are persecuted you should should have have what rejoice you should rejoice and be glad when you are persecuted i mean come on jesus come on jesus tonight all right you want want me to be persecuted okay but you want me to rejoice now listen carefully what jesus is telling us and be he says and be glad i mean how is that even my friends tonight possible this world rejoice is an interesting word tonight yes it actually could be translated a couple of different ways in english we have a bunch of ways to translate it but in greek the word is is was originally written in, in in one of two things my friends is either it's either a greeting my friends like when i see you i could say i could say this this word rejoice hi we are going we are doing what are you doing or how or, or it could it also mean my friends tonight or display excessive very excessive joy beyond what the circumstances is tonight yes my friends beyond the circumstances allow me tonight so the question is how could jesus tell us my friends to rejoice rejoice tonight how can he tell us to rejoice when we are being persecuted how could he tell us to rejoice 
when we are being led about, when we are being criticized, when we are being falsely accused. Yes, how can he say rejoice? Listen carefully tonight, my friends and beloved. Listen carefully tonight. Praise the Lord for Jesus. It's really difficult. It's really a difficult thing to understand. But I think what Jesus is doing here he is uh, summing up or sum up all this and really he's summing, summing up the gospel what he's saying he's saying the good life is found in all, all these things the good life is found in a person listen carefully it's found in Jesus Christ and when you have Jesus when you have Jesus all this junk all this junk doesn't matter because my friends Jesus plus nothing equals what Jesus plus nothing equals everything <coughs> tonight praise God see the good life we often pursue is in all in all these things and his and his fame his power his money their relationships and what Jesus is saying, he's saying, listen, you can have nothing, you can be persecuted, you can be beaten, you can be lied about, praise God, and you can still have the good life, my friends, if you have what, if you have what tonight, if you have me, Jesus said, if you have me, you can have a good life, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, that's how we can be persecuted tonight, and lie about my friends and beloved and still rejoice praise god we can still rejoice because the world can take everything but they can't take hallelujah they can't take jesus they can't take jesus and what i love about jesus tonight is that he doesn't say my friends hallelujah he doesn't say that he lives my friends he lives yes that he lives that and went to the cross for you and for me. He experienced, my friends, pain and death. Hallelujah. He experienced pain and death and separation from his father, which I don't think we fully understand tonight. The weight of what he went through, my friends, for us. Hallelujah. He went through for us. Praise God tonight. So that's now, my friends, we can rejoice. We can rejoice and be glad no matter, hallelujah, no matter our circumstances, no matter our situation, if it will be sum up tonight, the Beatitudes, my friends, if it will be sum up tonight, in a few short words, I call it the great reversal tonight, hallelujah. Hallelujah, the great, my friends, the great reversal. Jesus is showing us how life really works tonight. And in the kingdom economy, things are opposite. Hallelujah, we see in this world tells us that the poor and the persecuted and the mourning, they got nothing. Yes, my friends, but listen carefully tonight. Hallelujah, they don't have the bliss life tonight. Praise God. But in Jesus comely, the very, in very, every same people, the last, the, 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 the least, the lost, the forgotten tonight, they are the ones that become rich, who become influential, who become favored, my friends, because they have, they have, they have something, they have Jesus. Listen, if, if you are a follower of Jesus this night, they should be the markers, the markers, my friends, for your life tonight. Hallelujah. Those, these aren't just good things. They should be who we are becoming. They should be who we are transforming, my friends, into. So let me ask you, does this describe your life tonight? Does this describe your life? Does this describe your life in this who you are becoming? Are you poor in spirit tonight? Do you recognize, my friends, your own sinfulness tonight? And that you cannot, you cannot do anything to get, my friends, to get to heaven tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Except for look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Do you mourn your sins? 
Do you or do you keep it tonight uh, hidden, my friends? Do you bring it to God tonight, uh, or do you pretend it doesn't exist tonight? Uh, are you meet tonight, my friends? Uh, are you using your strength tonight uh, for the benefit uh, of those, my friends, around you tonight? Uh, do you hunger and thirst tonight? Uh, praise God, Hallelujah, for your own desires tonight, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah, praise God. Or do you hunger and thirst tonight uh, for the righteous? Uh, and are you merciful tonight? Uh, praise God. Are you extending grace uh, to those in your life uh, who don't deserve it tonight? Uh, are you a peacemaker tonight, uh, beloved? Are you dumping gasoline, my friends? Uh, hallelujah on the fire. Do you rejoice uh, in the trials tonight uh, and tribulation of life uh, because uh, you understand that you have Jesus and that's all. That's all tonight. That's a matter. You see the challenge out of this passage for us to view life tonight. Hallelujah. Through a kingdom. Through a kingdom. Hallelujah. Through a kingdom lens tonight to reject all the things that the world tells us. Yes, and that we need tonight uh, my friends what we need and instead of you uh, through that uh, what Jesus says tonight my friends uh, what he says uh, hallelujah is best tonight uh, praise God is best uh, the name of the church uh, yes my friends and beloved we need to understand that uh, we need to understand uh, what God is telling us tonight uh, it has been a joy and great privilege tonight uh, to be here tonight to minister the word of God my friends I want to tell you tonight uh, as each individual tonight uh, yes person tonight uh, as each individual here is a deal tonight uh, here is a great deal good stories are told in conflict uh, yes my friends good stories have uh, tragedies yes good stories have characters who face innumerable challenges i hear the man of god and go through go through my friends struggles struggles tonight yes we go through struggles in what a good story is made of tonight praise the lord and my friends and beloved yes the good story is that god has a good story for you and then we are not going to have an easy life praise the lord thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus but you know that we will have what we will have my friends what god says a meaningful a meaningful life tonight praise the lord hallelujah a meaningful life and i think that's what we want tonight isn't it my friends isn't it we what do we want our life to matter do you want your life to make an impact do you want long want long after gone you have gone from this world be living by the impact that you made on those around you because that's what Jesus is inviting you into he never promised you an easy life he didn't didn't promise you a life full of comfort my friends tonight hallelujah he promised you that he will be with you he will be with you to the end hallelujah he says the good life my friends hallelujah is for when you follow me, when you follow me even in the middle of, of reality, difficult situation and circumstances, hallelujah tonight, praise God, if you have Jesus and nothing else tonight, my friends, you have it all, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it's really hard life, yes, my friends, tonight, but if you have Jesus, I mean my life, yes, you have you have Jesus you have everything everything tonight yes my friends you have everything it has been a joy and great privilege tonight to be here to minister the word of God yet my friends I want to tell you that we need to understand yes it is sometimes life might be hard because you have to choose as friends you have to choose certain things and jobs you have to take care of your family you have to take care of the bills you have to do so many things but if you put it all in jesus yes he's gonna see you 
true of every situation because it comes back to one thing. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you, my friends and beloved. It has been a great joy and privilege to be here tonight to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that you understand the word fully in Jesus' precious name. I love you very much. Do have a sweet night, Teresa. I'll see you in the morning by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I'll pray for you tomorrow.